everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Marie. I'm a graphic designer and here on my YouTube channel I use Adobe Illustrator to create illustrations, 3D simulations, and branding. In today's tutorial we're going to create a nice but easy uh, swirl using three spirals. So let's go ahead and select the ellipse tool and draw a circle which we're just going to use as a guideline to create our swirl. So I'm going to change the stroke to red so we can distinguish it from the other lines and the fill to none. Now I'm going to go over here uh, to the tool panel and I'm going to go over here to lines, keep it pressed, open this pop-up menu and select spiral. Now there's two ways to design a spiral. You either click on the artboard and drag and so you just drag it to the dimensions you want it. I'm going to uh, change the stroke to black so we can distinguish it from the circle. I'm going to delete this because I'm going to go back here to the spiral, click anywhere on the artboard to open the spiral tab, and here you can insert custom parameters. And you can decide which side you want this, uh, the spiral to go as well. So I'm going to enter the number of segments that I want, and then when you're satisfied, you click OK. So now uh, I need this uh, the beginning part of the spiral to start in the center of the circle. So I'm going to go over here to the ellipse tool and create a new circle, which fits perfectly inside this spiral. And I'm also going to use the direct selection tool to delete this first anchor point here because it's too much. Okay, so now we have the spiral, which kind of like comes out of the circle. Okay, so, but I need to align it to the center. So I'm going to select the big circle and the small circle without the spiral and align them to center so that the small circle is in the center of the big circle. And then I'm going to move the spiral uh, so it looks like it's coming out of the small circle there. So now we have this extra part here, which I'm going to delete as well by using the direct selection tool. I'm going to click on the anchor point and hit delete on my artboard. So now we have the first spiral. We need two more. So I'm going to select it, just the spiral, go to the rotate tool, and I'm going to click here in the center of the two circles. I'm going to click once while holding Alt to open the Rotate tab. I'm going to insert an angle of 120, Preview, and hit Copy, and then Control D to create a third one. So now we have three spirals. They are um, all three symmetrical. And I can delete the two circles that I don't need anymore because they were just guidelines. I'm going to select all three spirals and change the stroke width. And then I'm going to drop down this menu with the stroke style. And I'm going to click here to open this panel and go to open brush library. And I'm going to select some artistic uh, brush strokes. So while my spirals are selected, I'm going to double click on this stroke. So it's going to apply that type of stroke to my uh, lines here. Now I'm going to drag this tab here and put it with these other tabs here. I'm going to select this stroke just because I want to try it and change the stroke style to pointy ends. Since I like it, I'm going to select these other two and add the same style. And here is our swirl created with three spirals. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and don't miss out on any future videos.